Possibly the most simple way of explaining the challenge we face right now is to compare it to a race. In one lane, we have vaccines, and our job is to make sure they can run as fast as possible. Read survivor can. Okay, so I can. Toilet paper. Toilet paper. I need toilet paper. More toilet paper. <laughs> Why do you need that? Even more toilet paper. Catch and roll. No, that's not toilet paper. Read toilet it's a bit paper. Excessive. We need more toilet paper. <laughs> yeah, need do you have, how much? Go around the house, count how much toilet paper we have, right? Chill, chill, man. Chill. Count how much toilet paper. Chill, chill. Can confirm now in summary that we have decided to introduce from midnight tonight for the duration of January a legal requirement to stay at home except for essential purposes. Stay at home except for essential purposes. This is similar to the lockdown of March last year. Tremendous capacity to adapt during this pandemic and I'm very grateful Through to the government for the information again as we all work together to reduce Through transmissions. The yeah, economy secretary was speaking to business organisations about this including uh, the we engage with trade unions on these issues too and we will continue to consider From the more tonight. regulatory action is over. Huh? Our clear advice now is that you should not go into work at all. How are nurses can learn online? To everyone who into this category and is let to count as a fit law. Oh, they'll, they'll provide some, they'll provide some. Do you think she will look at them and like that though? Especially it's her first time, I don't know. And then she came out. Let's see Yeah, just remember before I was able to go to the shop. Yeah, but that things like college, no. So you you won't have any college for this I don't. You can't you can't go to the shop because I don't want to spend your money. No. So, yeah, in fact, you always just spend any money, so you might just give all your money to me. Do you expect online? Huh? Do you expect online? It's easier to spray that. No, because you... Non-essential services, which remain open, will be further restricted. Premises which will need to close as a result of these changes will include, for example, ski centres, showrooms, or many tailors and clinics offering protective and aesthetic procedures. Any businesses have already been hit by the restrictions which were put in place. Go see if you can buy go see if you can buy one of the oxygen chambers. I feel like mad mad suit. Exactly. We'll have a look online and see if you can buy one. Buy a bunch. Super rest presents. Reanimated and ravenous for humans. The dead are rising from their graves. The whole world is in a frenzy. The infections are spreading fast, and it's overwhelming our defense. Well, here's how to survive a zombie apocalypse. Number two, more terminal. <laughs> sure. Sure. Are you in hand wash? I don't know if hand wash upstairs. No, I'll say hand wash. Where are you going to go? So we say with hand wash. And terminal. It's the floor. That is again our central message. Stay home, save lives, protect the NHS. If we do this, we give the vaccine. It's hugely positive and it does offer us the way out of this pandemic. But the other, the new faster spreading variant of the virus is a massive blow. And possibly the most simple way of explaining the challenge we face right now is to compare it to a race. In one lane, we have vaccines, and our job is to make sure they can run as fast as possible. And that's why the government will be doing everything we can to vaccinate people as quickly as possible. And I will say more about that later. But in the other lane is the virus, which as a result of this new variant has just learned to run much faster and has most definitely picked up pace in the past couple of weeks. To ensure that the vaccine wins this race, it is essential to speed up vaccination as far as possible, but to give it the time it needs, it needs to get ahead and ultimately win this race. 
I know that the next few weeks will be incredibly difficult. I'm sorry to ask for vaccines. We now have confidence that these sacrifices will pave the way to brighter days ahead. So for everyone's sake and for everyone's safety, please stick with it and stay at home. Thank you very much, First Minister. Positive, illustrate the severity and the urgency of the situation. The no new dates were reported today, but that is because yesterday was a Sunday and registration was allowed to close. But since I updated Parliament before Christmas, 200 days have been recorded in our daily figures. That again reminds us of the continuing grief that this pandemic is causing. Yeah. 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 Y